What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the TP-Link Deco BE5000. This is a dual band whole home Wi-Fi 7 mesh system which combines future-proofing Wi-Fi 7 benefits with a very affordable price of only $249 for a 3-pack. So if you have spotty or unreliable Wi-Fi in your house, you definitely need a system like this one. I used to use Wi-Fi extenders and all kinds of routers that advertise long range, but none of them have given me the stability and speeds like this system. So if you happen to be shopping for a Wi-Fi upgrade or want to improve your whole home Wi-Fi coverage, stick around and I'll be going over all the features and benefits of this system. All right, so taking a look inside the box, you get three Deco BE25 units. Right here, I only have one since I already have the other two connected to my internet right now. Besides those, you also get a power adapter for each unit, your quick start guide, and a ethernet cable as well. So everything you need to get started is included here in the box. The majority of people are likely gonna use this through a wireless connection as that's just simpler and easier to do. And that is gonna give you a very good connection. But if you want an even better connection, that's where you use an ethernet cable and run this through a wired backhaul. All right, so before I dive into all the features and specifications of these units, let me go ahead and explain what a mesh system is and how it works for those of you that might not be aware. So in a traditional router setup, you have a router somewhere in your house, preferably it'll be centralized, but often we'll have it at one end of the house. In my case, I have it in my basement. So near the router, you're always gonna have a great connection, but as you go further into the house, you have different walls, different doors, and as that signal gets further, it gets a lot weaker. So items on the other side of your house end up with a much weaker connection. Now, if you look at a mesh system, instead of just having one node, which will be the router right there trying to power everything, this divides your internet connection throughout your house. So now instead of just having one, you have one here, here, and here. So as you can see, they have a smaller working radius and at these points, they'll share the internet connection and basically they'll make a big centralized connection inside your house. And the best part about it is it's all under one Wi-Fi name. So you just connect to your same Wi-Fi connection like you always do. And as you walk around your house, these will smartly detect where you are and hand off your connection to each one of the nodes. This way, no matter where you go in the house, you're always gonna have a very stable connection. Like I said earlier, I've tested tons and tons of routers and Wi-Fi extenders and hands down, you're always gonna get the best and strongest connection with a mesh system. All right, so as I said earlier, this is a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. Although it wasn't the case when it was first released, now many devices are already using Wi-Fi 7. This includes the entire iPhone 16 and iPhone 17 lineups. If you're on a Samsung phone, this includes the Samsung S24 Ultra, S25 Ultra, Tab S11 Ultra, and besides these devices, there's many other modern cell phones that use Wi-Fi 7 already. And this also applies to laptops. Unless you're buying a lower end device, any device going forward is likely going to support Wi-Fi 7 as well. So when it comes to speeds, Wi-Fi 7 can do 4.3 gigabits on the 5 gigahertz band and 688 megabits per second on the 2 gigahertz band. So this is fast enough to do 4K streaming, gaming, video calls, and provide internet to all other devices all at the same time and still have great speeds on everything. I've been using this system for a few weeks now and I have not had any issues with connection reliability or speed throttling or anything like that. Like I said earlier, just a very fast internet connection with greatly improved range. When it comes to coverage on the three pack that I have here, this is rated to cover up to 6,600 square feet and supports up to 150 plus devices. So with this system, you're definitely gonna get a very fast and strong connection. Besides being quicker and having better range, this also has a few other features as well. First off, this has multi-link operation or commonly referred to as MLO. So typically with routers, you have two bands, the two gigahertz and the five gigahertz. With the two gigahertz, you get longer range, but slower speeds. And then with the five gigahertz, you get faster speeds, but slower range. So with either one you're connected to, you always have to do some kind of sacrifice. But what MLO does is allow you to connect to both of them at the same time to get the best benefits of both bands. So definitely a very good feature. 
that really separates these Wi-Fi 7 routers from older versions. Besides that, this also has 4K QAM technology, which boosts speeds to all devices. And last but not least, this also has AI-driven roaming for smooth handoffs between nodes. So as you walk around the house, the system will detect that and automatically switch you to the closest node to always keep you on the best and most stable connection. As I said earlier, you have two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports. A lot of routers still have one gigabit ports. So this is gonna be a very fast connection as well. You can use this to either put a wired backhaul between the units, which is gonna give you the fastest connection compared to wireless. Again, wireless still gonna be good, but ethernet's gonna give you the best connection there. Or you can also use these like a router as well. So if you have a gaming console, NAS drive, TV, media devices, you go ahead and plug them in here and that's gonna give you the best connection possible compared to a Wi-Fi connection. All right, so I actually ran a few tests with these. So in my house, typically I have one router. It's a Wi-Fi 6E router, so it's not that old. Advertises great range, powerful speeds, all of that. But like I said, I have the router on one end of my house. So at the opposite end of my house, between the walls and the doors, if I don't have a Wi-Fi extender, that side is very bad. The connection is extremely slow. And the only way I can get connection to that area is by using a Wi-Fi extender. And even then, Wi-Fi extenders aren't as good as a mesh system like this. So to see how much of a difference this system makes, I went on that far end of my house and I ran a speed test using my old router and the Wi-Fi extender. And it gave me 142 megabytes down and 94 megabytes up which isn't bad at all, but this was done at night when nothing else was connected. So during the day, sometimes that can drop down to like 15, 20 megabits, and it'll be so bad at times where a YouTube video would buffer and just lose connections. And it's just very awful. Everybody in my house knows not to use Wi-Fi over there because it's just very bad. So then I unplugged that, I hooked up the Deco system, and this greatly, greatly improved my speeds. I was now getting 409 megabytes on the download speeds and 285 megabytes on the upload speed. So more than double on both the up and down and Wi-Fi is greatly, greatly improved. Like I said, I've been using this for a while already and it has not disconnected. It has not gave me buffering issues. It's been a very, very stable connection comparable to the other devices that will be right next to the main router as well. So definitely, a night and day difference. I am completely happy with this system. I see no other reason to upgrade or get a better system. I know there's a lot of more expensive mesh systems out there. This one's affordable, so I was kind of not sure about it, but definitely a very, very good performing system. All right, just to show you how insane these speeds are that I'm getting right now. Again, this unit is not in use right now. The main router is about 50 feet away from where I currently am. And I try to get this to buffer right now. I try to see if I could bog this down and I've reached my max here and it still is not bogging down. So these are all 4K HDR videos, which is a pretty demanding stream as it is. So I have two right here and a total of nine windows open here. So that's a total of 11 4K HDR streams all going at once. And it's still not bogging down. It's still been playing all of these completely fine with no problem. As you can see, I got movement in every single tile. There's no freezing, no buffering. So definitely a very quick connection. So unless you're someone that has 11 TVs, it's unlikely you're gonna have this much going in your house. If you're playing an online game, maybe it'll be like the amount of data that four of these streams are taking as gaming is a little more demanding. But, but as you can see, you can have so much going on at once and it's still gonna be able to handle that, no problem at all. As far as setup goes, that is also very easy. As I said, everything is included inside the box. So you just gotta plug this into power, get the ethernet cable, connect that to your modem. From there, you open the Deco app and it'll walk you through everything. Very, very simple. I was done with the whole process in about one or two minutes maybe. And then once you get it set up, all the other nodes will automatically add themselves to the app. So you just have to do initial setup with this one. The other ones, you just plug them in, place them around your house. So definitely a very easy and convenient setup process. All right, so if all of that wasn't enough, there's also a ton of other features here in the app as well. So this is what the home screen looks like. It shows you your nodes, your test internet and Wi-Fi settings up top. It shows you how many clients are connected. 
Going into Wi-Fi settings, you have your 2.5 and 5 gigahertz, and then you also have your MLO, and that is optional if you want to turn that on or off. I really don't see why you would disable that, so just leave that on. And then coming down here to security, if you subscribe to their security features, you get web protection. And as it says here, web protection blocks access to malicious websites to avoid dangerous links and personal information disclosure. You have device isolation. Some devices such as IoT devices are vulnerable to security threats to keep your important devices and data safe. You can isolate these devices to protect your network from being infected. And then down here, you also have camera security where it lets you do some security customizations with your cameras on the network as well. And then right here in the middle, you have Wi-Fi access controls. So you can select if you want only certain devices to be blocked, or you can do it opposite and only have an allow list. So if you have four or five people in your house, you can only select those five devices to be allowed to connect to your network. This way, if anybody else tries to connect, it'll automatically deny that. So that's pretty cool to have. So lots of cool features here to keep all your devices and your network secure. And when you subscribe to this, they also include Norton 360 software as well to also scan your computer and keep that protected. And then coming over here, you have parental controls. This is definitely very cool. I have two children, they have cell phones, so I often put parental controls on their phones. But the problem is when they go to other devices, often those parental controls don't carry over. But this is a network-wide parental control. So I can go ahead and register all their devices right here. And whatever I set for them, it'll restrict them on any device they use. So as you can see right here, I set up a temporary profile that's child one and tells you how much they use the network, how many minutes, what websites they went to and your block history. And then coming right up here, you can block their internet access. So instead of like the old days where you got to unplug the router or turn off their computer, you can just go to your phone, click block. And just like that, they'll lose internet access. And this does apply to all their devices. So if they have 10 Wi-Fi things in their room, they'll all be listed under this child, just click block. And just like that, all 10 devices are now blocked. On the opposite side, they also have downtime. So there's, you can set this so that it schedules when they can or can't use the internet. And if you wanna let them use it a little more, you can also give them some bonus time as well. So going into the settings right here, you see we have block websites, web filter, you can select what you want to filter out. And there's lots of settings here and what you want them to see or not see. You have safe search, YouTube restricted. Again, all their devices, so you don't have to go to every single device individually. Just set it right here and that'll apply to everything they have. And then they have a bedtime where the Wi-Fi will cut off at that time for their devices. You have time limits. So if you only want them to use their phone or computer for a certain time of the day, you can also set that. And then you have off time, which is similar to bedtime, but you can put this in the middle of the day. So if they come home from school, say you want them to get their homework done from 3 to 4.30, you can go ahead and set that up here. And as you can see, not only can you select the time for every day, you can also set it for weekends and weekdays or custom days as well. So again, lots of customizations there. Really, really big fan of this. Again, I hate having to go through every single device and set up all these things per device. This just makes it so much easier to oversee everything that's happening all from one place. Going into the settings, there's a lot here, so I'm not gonna go over every single thing, but you have Wi-Fi settings. You can set up a guest network, IoT network, WPS, internet connection, Wi-Fi access control, test internet speed. Uh, this is compatible with a VPN, so if you have VPN, you could add this right here as well. You have connection alerts, so every time a new device connects to your network, it'll tell you that right here, so you always stay in the loop with what's happening with your internet at all times. You have managers who you want to access all the Wi-Fi settings. LED controls for the router. They have a little light on the front when they're plugged in. You can turn that on or off. And then if you go into advanced, you see you have a bunch of other options you can mess with and customize here. So as you can see, definitely a very good system with a lot of customizations and features built into it. If by some off chance you aren't aware of TP-Link as a company, they are definitely a well-regarded company who's been making routers and networking devices for quite some time now. With smaller brands, it's kind of a grab bag of whether you're going to get good performance or not. But with TP-Link, they're definitely experts in this category, so you know exactly what you're getting. Throughout my life, I've used several products from them, including routers, network switches, and more, and I've always been happy with the performance. Again, just well-made products at great prices as well. Overall, this is definitely a solid mesh system. The connection is very quick and stable. 
Everything is very easy to use and set up. And best of all, it's also extremely affordable as well. All in all, if you happen to be shopping for a mesh system or Wi-Fi upgrade, I would highly, highly recommend this one here, which again is the TP-Link Deco BE5000. If you would like to purchase or get more information, I'll also have the link in the description as well. All right, well, that all wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.